So can NAD booster supplements like nicotinamide mononucleotide and nicotinamide riboside help you if you have rheumatoid arthritis? This study crossed my computer screen today. Preclinical characterization of pharmacological NAD boosting as promising therapeutic approach for rheumatoid arthritis. So I'm looking at this study uh, and they mentioned 253 patients are included in the study. They have rheumatoid arthritis and they mention that people who have rheumatoid arthritis arthritis have lower levels of NAD. They say it right here. Reduced NAD levels are found in people with rheumatoid arthritis. They also have higher levels of pro-inflammatory markers as well. That would be expected with people who have rheumatoid arthritis. But what I thought was interesting with this study is they concluded by saying rheumatoid arthritis patients display altered NAD metabolism. That's great. But what they don't mention here is did they give nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide to people with rheumatoid arthritis to see if they actually got better. That's the real test of raising NAD levels. Does it reduce your inflammation? Does it reduce your pain? Does it do anything for people who have rheumatoid arthritis? So just as a check to see if anybody had done this research, here is PubMed National Library of Medicine where I typed in nicotinamide mononucleotide and rheumatoid arthritis. And I see these three trials here, which really don't have anything to do with rheumatoid arthritis because they're just, uh, they're, they're, again, this one's all about rats. Uh, and this one has to do with identified protein array technology. But let's click on clinical trials. Let's see if anybody did a clinical trial with this compound. No. So far, no research on nicotinamide mononucleotide and rheumatoid arthritis. Let's now look at nicotinamide riboside, the other big NAD booster supplement out there. I got these uh, two studies here. This is the one I just told you about here. And then we got this pharmacological targeting IDO mediated, yada, yada, yada. It has nothing to do with people. Let's talk about the actual clinical trials. Zero. No clinical trial yet has been published on nicotinamide mononucleotide or nicotinamide riboside and rheumatoid arthritis patients. And just to double check, I wanted to see if anybody is doing anything in the pipeline. So I went over to clinicaltrials.gov and I searched for nicotinamide riboside uh, and rheumatoid arthritis and nothing popped up. Let's do the same thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide and rheumatoid arthritis. Nothing popped up. So I'm bringing this up for a reason. You may see articles written on various blogs by people who don't know what they're talking about, who are heralding boosting NAD as a therapy and a treatment, and maybe even a cure for rheumatoid arthritis. I'm sorry, but there just is not any clinical research that I'm aware of right now that proves that Taking these supplements will help your rheumatoid arthritis. Reducing pain, that's the big endpoint for me. Does it make your pain get better? Does it remove, does it decrease your stiffness? That's the other thing you gotta ask. Right now, there's no evidence of this. Scientists, if you're watching me right now, do this research, this is easy to do. Any kid in high school could do this research. Get 100 people with rheumatoid arthritis, give them these supplements for a couple of months, and let's see if their pain goes down. This is an easy test to do. Why isn't anybody doing it?